started having my contractions at 10 a.m. in the morning. It's, what's the time now? 4.37. Yeah, so kind of came to the hospital at 4 p.m., I guess. Um, yeah. Around 4 p.m., and I'm 3 centimeter dilated. Actually, 3.30 we got here. Yeah, so we got here at 3.30. So, 3 centimeter dilated. Excited? Far, it's manageable, so I haven't really taken any medication, but I know that this is not going to be easy, so probably I'll ask for one soon. <laughs> So we're just walking around. Yeah. The view is amazing. I love the hospital. <laughs> yep, so we're just walking around to see if I will get more dilated. It hurts. Should you take long strides? Yes, I'm gonna take don't <laughs> you like water breaks? <laughs> <laughs> so four centimeter dilated. I had a shot of morphine, so I'm like a little happy. <laughs> but they're admitting me, so please be the time. No shot of morphine for me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think's bigger, this hospital room or our honeymoon suite? <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty much the same size. I feel like I shouldn't be here. Oh, baby, oh, baby's kicking. He's kicking? Mm -hmm. Baby vision. How are you feeling, Nicholas? Feeling good now we're in this five star room. So far, um, it's been good. Like, I mean, I'm not in so much pain. I was like a few hours back and then they gave me that morphine shot so that kind of like you know subsided the pain and like all I'm doing is see breathing techniques actually work and all you need to do is when the contraction hits just like breathe through it it is painful but it passes so that's good so the doctor's gonna come and break my water. Um, I just had my epidural and it wasn't painful at all. I didn't feel any issues getting the needle in or the a tube in, it's all good. And now I don't even feel any contractions. Um, I can move in the bed, it's just, I can move my leg. It's just that I can't move my hips, so I'm supposed to be in the bed for some time. But so far, so good. It's 12 p.m. now, and uh, the doctor just came in and uh, checked my cervix. I was six centimeter dilated, and um, uh, they actually broke my water. So uh, there was like a gush of water coming out. And uh, now they're monitoring the baby's heartbeat and uh, his movements. Um, Things are looking good so far. I'm not in so much pain because of the epidural. I'm glad. Um, I don't know how it is going to be when I push the baby off. So Aaron was born at 5.38 a.m. The last few hours were like really intense and Pushing is a really hard thing to do and um, I think I got him out in about 45 minutes. I'm still on epidural so I'm not feeling a lot of pain and I would be feeling once I'm off the drugs. He's been good. He latched on both my breasts. He's having his milky milk now. I think he knows that he's a Malayali, half Malayali already. <laughs> He does, because he responds really well when you speak to a woman Malayalam. Mm -hmm. He does, eh? Yeah. Even I've been doing it. Um, yeah, he looks more like Nick. I'm really proud. <laughs> like, I really thought that, you know, I would uh, break down during my delivery. Like, I thought that I wouldn't be strong enough. But, I, I don't know. I think I did a good job. You did a great job. <laughs> mm -hmm.